What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to go over Dogecoin and baby Dogecoin today. So first things first, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out for the YouTube algorithm. And also check out the links in the description for a free stock with Robinhood and Webull and public.com. Now let's get straight to it. So as we can see, Dogecoin just now shot straight up to 35 cents. But now we're kind of retracing back down here, back down to that 31 cents area. But anyways, we have a whole technical analysis that we're going to do today. We didn't really stay between this channel here between 29 cents and 31 cents for too long. We just kind of broke right out of that. So we're going to have to retrace a little bit. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So without further ado, let's go over this now. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. And none of this is financial advice. Okay. So with that out of the way. Dogecoin price needs to be traced for Doge to rally another 30%. That's what I was talking about looking at this. We have to do this little retrace because we can't just keep going straight up, straight up, straight up without any downside. So anyways, Dogecoin price might retrace before the next leg up as MRI flashes a sell signal. An 8% retracement to the demand zone upper limit at 31 cents seems likely. So a resurgence of buying pressure around 31 cents could propel Dogecoin up roughly 28% to 40%. 40 cents and that's kind of how dogecoin loves to move right there so anyways this is huge right here and dogecoin is just rallying with so much so much revenge right now because a lot of people a lot of people doubted dogecoin a lot of people hated it you know a lot of people look at dogecoin like it's a joke but now dogecoin is passing literally every single crypto out there i mean look at it right here forty six thousand for bitcoin only up 0.12 percent in the last 24 hours ethereum only up one percent in the last 24 hours you know binance went for four percent you know cardano down 0.71 and then everything's down and now you can see those going here nine percent literally up nine percent for the last 24 hours so those coins doing fairly wet better than everything you know as you can see, you know, Solana, you know, the Solana is going crazy. You can see Polkadot going crazy. But nonetheless, Dogecoin is going crazy compared to all these top five cryptos here. Well, top six because, you know, Tether is really not like a crypto. But anyways, it's a stable coin. But yeah, as you can see, Dogecoin price rallied roughly 22% over the last 24 hours, shattering the immediate supply zone, extending from 28 cents to 31 cents. The correction here is likely due to the extended nature of the upswing and the sell flash signal. So... Anyways, over here, this technical information forecast a one to four candlestick correction, hinting a, at a retracement to the immediate support level at 33 cents. An increased number of investors booking profit could lead to a breakdown of 33 cents and a retest of 31 cents. So we, we just now, you know, shot all the way up here to 35. And now we're kind of rechasing back down here to this 31 cent area. And, you know, they're saying that we have some support here at 33. As you can see, it doesn't really want to go too far below 32.85. So give or take around 33 there is a little bit of a support there but we're going to have to retrace back down to 31 cents in order to have that huge upswing back up to you know 40 cents possibly so that's going to be really nice here with dogecoin investors can expect the resurgence of buyers at 31 or 33 cents leading to the start of a new uptrend so the resulting bullish momentum will likely breach 37 cents and make a run at the 40 cents resistance barrier so we're going to see a 40 cent dogecoin very soon now this is what they say about the downside if we can't beat that on the other hand if dogecoin or if the retracement continues to head lower breaching 31 cents dogecoin will re-enter the demanding zone range from 28 cents to 31 cents so pretty much they're saying if we cannot you know you know if we keep going past 31 cents if we go lower than 31 cents which is right here if we go lower than this area here then we're going to go back down to this next support line which is the 29 and then this next one at 27. so that's what they're saying here with their technical analysis remember I'm not a financial advisor none of this financial advice and i'm pretty sure they're not financial advices either so anyways there is a risk of it going down to 27 cents if we can't you know if we do break 31. so anyways moving on to the next thing with dogecoin there's so many different whales putting in so much money here and remember we believe the top dogecoin whale to be robin hood and when robin hood finally does these wallets is going to be huge for dogecoin now Next thing I want to talk about here with Dogecoin, look at this well right here, $130 million, $130.9 million. They just invested in Dogecoin yesterday, and now that's already at $149 million. Literally so much money made so quickly, like $19 million, not even a full day. You know, it wasn't even a full day, $19 million. That's huge right there. I mean, come on now. 
like today, this Dogecoin oil came in today with seventy nine point three million dollars. Now they got seventy nine point eight million dollars. They can go buy a nice little house right there. They got and this, this little Dogecoin oil came here seventy point eight million dollars yesterday. Now they got seventy five million dollars. So many, so much money is being made inside of Dogecoin here. Fifty one point five million. Now they got fifty eight million, and that was coming in yesterday. And this one came in yesterday, thirty point one million. Now they got thirty three million. And you know these whales, they see. A huge opportunity here with dogecoin and a lot of people are fomoing back into the whole crypto market same thing with dogecoin so a lot of people are just throwing their money in there hoping for it to you know go all the way up and they're fomoing it in it's so one person that's not you know fomoing their money inside of here is mark cuban so billionaire mark cuban reveals he only has 500 dollars worth of dogecoin despite his praise for the meme token so mark cuban said on sunday that he personally owns dogecoin worth only 500 dollars. the billionaire recently said dogecoin's community makes it the strongest medium of exchange cuban said in may that he he and his son had about 3200 dogecoins about uh 1700 at that time so yeah his son has a little bit and he has a little bit but he's not that big with dogecoin and you know price that he has there so he doesn't have much money there anyways Mark Cuban disclosed that he owns less than $500 worth of Dogecoin, despite praising cryptocurrency as the strongest medium of exchange. The billionaire investor and Shark Tank star has previously said his NBA team, the Dallas Mavericks, is the meme-inspired token's largest merchant after it began accepting Dogecoin as payments for tickets and merchandise. So, the Mavs have what we sold in merch. He said in a tweet on Sunday, I personally own $494 worth of Dogecoin. But remember, his, his team... This whole team has a lot of money in Dogecoin, so he doesn't really need to hold money in Dogecoin because his business has that money. So anyways, Cuban was brought on, he was responding to a Twitter user who asked whether the billionaire's portfolio includes more of Dogecoin or Bitcoin. He has a net worth of, net worth of $5.8 billion. So yeah, he said the community for Doge is the strongest, blah, 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 but he only has $500. So it's definitely cool to see that he has you know at least some money in here. As you can see over here, between the maps and my personal account, it's let it's about less than fifteen thousand dollars in Dogecoin. That's what he said. So there's not much money going through Dogecoin with Mark Cuban, but uh, he's still putting money through Dogecoin. So that's still a big you know indicator that Dogecoin has some you know sentimental value. It has some value to other people. You know, a lot of people really love Dogecoin a lot. But anyways, let's read about this that is happening. Bots Incorporated allows Tesla EV buyers to pay with Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies. That's huge right there. Now. A global technology company specialized in blockchain-based solutions, including decentralized finance app applications for the financial industry, cybersecurity solutions, crypto mining, consulting, mining equipment repair, and insurance, announced today that it began allowing local car dealerships to accept cryptocurrency like Dogecoin for pre-owned Tesla EV cars. So yeah, Tesla cars can now be bought with Dogecoin at these pre-owned car dealerships so that's huge btzi became one of the first publicly traded companies to accept dogecoin as a payment for its products and services back in 2021 tesla ceo elon musk said that the car company would no longer accept bitcoin to ex uh to purchase its vehicles citing concern about the environmental impact of the cryptocurrency tesla started accepting bitcoin as a form of payment blah 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 they have 1.5 billion inside bitcoin they said we are concerned about rapidly increasing fossil fuels blah 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 so pretty much all you need to take out from this is that instead of buying it directly from Tesla, you can just buy it from Bots Incorporated. So you can just buy it from them. And they're on the OTC market if you want to check them out at BTZI. Their stock's probably going to start going parabolic now, now that they're doing this with this news. So anyways, this is huge. They're the first publicly traded company to accept Dogecoin as a payment for its products and services, for its cars, for those Tesla cars. That's huge right there. And I hope Elon Musk sees this and then kind of, you know, throws in his own version. It was like, all right, let's accept those clients for official Teslas. Now, I mean, they still are official Teslas if you buy it from that independent dealership. But still, it'd be better to have it directly from Tesla. Now, let's go over baby Dogecoin. And as you can see, you know, Dogecoin is just now passing 30 cents here, right? 33 cents. But baby Dogecoin has, is still going down. You know, I've been reporting on this for a while. It's been going sideways and down a lot, down 3.1% for the last 24 hours, 20% for the last seven days, 14, 10% for the last 14 days, 10% for the last 30 days. So Baby Dogecoin has not been doing as well as Dogecoin. Actually, Baby Dogecoin has been losing a lot of money. I remember seeing this fully diluted market cap at $642 million, bringing our actual market cap to like $430 million or something like that. So Baby Dogecoin 
not doing so well right now. 557,000 people are holding it, 557,138, refreshing it, 557,169. So, you know, a lot of people just now investing in it, about 30 people investing in Baby Dogecoin within the last 10 minutes, a lot of people there. But anyways, Baby Dogecoin has been going down quite a lot lately. But as you can see here, they have something new, which is Bits. And I guess this is a new exchange, and they're now trying to accept Baby Dogecoin. Bits will list Baby Dogecoin, as they say. All you got to do right now is deposit and trade to win one uh, trillion Baby Dogecoins. So yeah, deposit some money into there, and then trade with their other cryptos, and then you can win, you know, one trillion Baby Dogecoin when they finally list it on there. So that's big news with Baby Dogecoin. But anyways, remember, Baby Dogecoin is also about to do some burning. They're going to be burning more tokens. So I guess by the end of next week or sometime, you know, somewhere around here, maybe Sunday or it actually, no, it's already past Sunday, but um, next Sunday or this upcoming Sunday. But yeah, Baby Dogecoin, they are going to be burning. But right now, everything they do kind of seems to not shoot them to the moon. And right now, everything Dogecoin does kind of just shoots it to the moon. So I don't know why Baby Dogecoin is taking so much time to, you know, retrace back up to its, you know, not all time highs, but at least you know, halfway up there, like how Dogecoin's doing right now. Because, you know, our all-time highs, 70, somewhere around 70-something cents. And over here, Baby Dogecoin is not getting anywhere near that right now. So that's really crazy. I honestly want to see Baby Dogecoin rise. But for some reason, Baby Dogecoin just won't rise right now. So anyways, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But if you do like this video, though, hey, please hit that like button and subscribe and check out the links in the description we're free stock with Robinhood and Webull. I'll be back with another video. Peace.